welcome to my channel. This video is going to be all about showing you guys how to tie-dye items in your own home without any like actual tie-dye related items. During quarantine I've had such a hard time finding items to like tie-dye and finding the stuff to do it and so I am just going to experiment and see if I can figure out how to tie-dye items with only bleach and the clothing that I want to use to tie-dye them with. So click the subscribe button below if you guys want to see fashion related videos because I upload videos literally three days a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays every single week. And check out my Instagram if you guys want to see how I style the pieces that I end up tie-dyeing. I've literally never tie-dyed like, I don't know, I probably haven't tie-dyed since I was like in middle school so this is going to be quite the experiment so yeah let's just get into the video so the items i'm going to use are pretty inexpensive items honestly i'm just using them because i don't know if this is going to work or not i'm hoping that it will like i've seen so many videos from people who just like do such a good job with their tie dyeing but i literally don't have rubber bands i don't have tie dye material so this is going to be interesting um the items that i have today are this long sleeve tee that i got from walmart I think it's literally like 10 bucks. You guys can order it online and they do have it still in stock. And then I also have these shorts right here and I think I grabbed these from Pretty Little Thing. They're so comfortable, really big and baggy and so I, I will link these below. And then I also have this top right here. It's just like a regular tee that I got from Pretty Little Thing in a size medium. And then I also got these sweatpants from Pretty Little Thing as well. They're just like a beige, um, really nice and comfortable and I really hope that this like tie-dye experiment works because if it doesn't then I'm just kind of wasted four items of clothing <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys outside and we're just gonna do it out there because I don't want to mess up my inside like of my home and then hopefully um, everything turns out the way that I want it to so the first thing that I am going to do is fill up this diluted bottle with like half water and half bleach like i think that is what most people have done and they've like sprayed it on their um stuff but this bottle says windex on it i just don't want you guys to think that there's literally windex in here but um, i'm just using this so that i can put the items in there there's literally no windex in here i promise <laughs> All right, now I have all of the items that I'm gonna tie-dye out here. So I'm just gonna lay them out on this little sheet. Um, like I said, I have the two gray items and then the um, little burgundy ones. So <laughs> hopefully this works, because otherwise I will literally just be wasting out on two pieces of clothing. <laughs> So when I've seen like a lot of people do this, typically they will like wet the items, but I started thinking about it and I kind of don't want to wet the items. If it turns out badly, maybe I'll try it again with wetting the items, but I kind of don't want to because I want to know what areas I've sprayed and what areas I haven't. I just don't want to miss anything. Um, so I'm going to try it without wetting the items and then, hi bud, all right, move, move, hi bud. Um, I'm gonna try it without wetting the items and then hopefully that works. Um, and what I'm just gonna do is, here I'll do like a portion of this one. Um, I'm going to roll up the item, but like kind of like fold it over and then roll it kind of like an accordion. And then, um, here, let me like show you guys like as an overhead, but I'm gonna roll it up like an accordion and then just spray over top of that. So there's gonna be pieces that aren't sprayed um, and then that's what's gonna create like the tie-dye effect. <laughs>
Okay, this one I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I kind of wanna swirl it in a circle instead of like rolling like I did the other one. Um, like I said, never done this before. So um, I'm going to, let me move this back a bit so you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to um, take these and try to do like a swirling motion. Um, so just like rolling this. Kind of like a um, Twizzler, no, not a Twizzler, like a fruit roll up, just into a big circle. And then I'm gonna do this other side, I think separately. So there's two spots for the pants. And then I'm gonna spray it. Okay, so I think that I'm done like putting everything, like all the bleach and stuff on the items, but I saw in a video once that you should like open up your clothing to see like what it looks like, because there might be spots that don't have any bleach and you don't want to have to like lug everything else out. So I'm gonna open up my items and then see if there's any spots, like really big spots that need some bleach. Okay, so honestly, these are looking really good so far. I really like this one. This one looks really cool. This one definitely needs some extra space, like right, like more bleach right there. It's just like too much of a gap. Um, this one I really like, except for down here at the bottom. When you start getting to the bottom, there's like hardly any bleach at all. So I'll definitely add in a little bit more there. And then this one I love, like obsessed with it. So cute. I do kind of wish there was a little bit more right here, um, but all the rest is like really cute. So yeah, um, let's like add a little bit more to this one and then this one and then see how it looks. All right guys, I wanna show you what they look like as they're hanging up drying. I have definitely learned that the lighter items, like this is lighter um, and then this was like a lighter gray and this was a darker um, gray or either had like more material. I'm finding that the lighter items are a lot easier to tie dye. Like this is a darker, more thick material and the tie dye just like, doesn't show quite as much maybe it'll show once it's dry um, but I'm really excited to show you guys what they look like whenever they um, dry I think I'm probably gonna throw them in the dryer but once they're dry I'll show you guys okay, what so they I look think like. the items have dried enough and so I'm gonna go in rinse them off with some water and then throw them into the washer um, I'm gonna throw a little bit of detergent in there and then wash them all together hopefully that won't like make them bleed but we'll see honestly I'm just like doing this whole like trial and error thing and hoping for the best All right, so these are the first items. I'm very pleasantly surprised with the top. It's so cute. 
honestly have no idea what happened with these shorts like I literally just have no idea they are just like literally the same color um, I don't know if like some fabrics just don't work to tie-dye or what but the shorts literally didn't change at all the only difference is the shorts are a little bit tighter I bought them like really big and baggy because I wanted them to be that way <laughs> and now they're like there's a tad tighter but literally they're the same color like look the exact same so just be careful of the fabrics that you use whenever you do tie-dye I'm gonna get close so you guys can see what this top looks like but I am loving it I feel like I'm gonna wear this top so much more because because it is like just a really nice I don't know it was just a nice pattern Let's get close it almost looks like clouds like it's so pretty and this was the um, like accordion style that I did whenever I was um, tie-dyeing outside I kind of made this like um, literally like an accordion and I think it turned out really well. I just cropped it, um, but this is what it looks like long, really nice and big, um, and it's just a really cool pattern. I think it looks so cool. It literally looks like a cloud. I'm obsessed. And I love being able to have like a tee that no one has, and I think this was literally like seven bucks. Um, I also love how the sleeves down here are like they just have really cool like patterns for tie-dye on there it's just really neat and this one literally looks like a cloud so freaking cute let me show you guys the um next look which actually is my favorite even though i love this one like the other one is definitely my favorite so i'm gonna show you guys that one right now this is the next look so cute i feel like this one's my favorite um, and I think it's just because you guys know how much I love beige. Um, but the top was a little bit lighter and now it's like super light. And then the bottoms were super dark, but they're actually like pretty light now. Um, and I think they look really good. I'll get close up so you guys can see what it looks like. This is the top and what the top looks like. It's obviously a lot lighter than the bottoms, but I remember showing you guys that um, the bottoms were already really dark and I didn't think that they would tie dye well, but they actually did. I think they look really good. Um, this is the top up close. It's literally just a plain tee, but I have it rolled underneath my bra. Um, it's just literally like I think a $5 or $7 tee from Pretty Little Thing. These are the pants. They turned out really well. I love these. I think that the pattern is really nice. I was super worried initially that they wouldn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. Um, but they actually turned out really nicely and I am super impressed. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much as always. Click the subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video. I'm honestly so surprised and like happily surprised by how these items turned out. I have no idea what happened to the gray shorts. Maybe it was just the fabric or whatever. Um, but definitely all the items that I um, tie-dye tonight, I am just like going to wear so much. And yeah, I might even do this again. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, check out my Instagram if you guys want to see how I style these pieces. And I will see you guys in my next one on Thursday. <laughs> Bye!